Welcome to part three. I did some off-screen training to get everyone to level 10, and then I also caught myself a Talo, and then got him to level 10. So, I didn't do much off-screen, but here we go. So, you're going to want to come here and talk to this guy. And he will give you the move, the HM cut. Which is HM1. Okay, it's the hidden machine, or HM for short, is cut. You can use HMs as many times as you want, there's no limitation to them. But you'll need cut later. Which also will help you get those things. But then you can come here to the school. You can talk to everyone if you want, but you really only have to talk to him. While well, he goes and checks on everyone. And there you go. He gives you the quick claw. The quick claw will basically allow you to attack first. So yeah. But now I, there's basically nothing else in here at the moment that matters. Except, well, except the gym. But I'm not going to take the gym on yet. I'm going to go train. Really quick. Don't want to do that. And try to get Torchic to level 16. And grab this repel. Grab this trainer. Damn, bug trainers that only had warp and whatnot. And he's a Nikata, apparently. You could find Nikatas in this grass right here, though, too, so. If you want one, they're here. As you can tell, these trainers aren't really that much challenge for Torchic. There we go. A double battle. I confused them apparently. That doesn't happen often. But then my lucky ass Gary has most though, so.
And there we go. As you can tell, there's a decent amount of trainers over here, actually. Yeah, he's gonna weaken my electric attacks. You know, the thing I don't have. I don't know why anyone would use an electric attack on a rock type anyway, it's not going to do anything. Why did my attack do more than this attack on this video, dude? Oh well. And there we are, level 16. Why not? We'll poke it over Growl. There. Alright. The reason I wanted to get him at level 16 was this. Now I torture County Wall. Two, Combuskin. Now he'll learn the mighty fighting attack double kick. Which, since I don't, since I started with him and not the other two, one of the other two, is really good against the gym. I guess we'll go fight the gym now. Well, we have to. Well, there's one more trainer in here up there, but. I'm not gonna fight him. Or, I think it's a her, actually. Alright, the gym. Yeah, I should be able to fight her. I guess Mero would be a good Pokemon to train right now. Because he's a water type and water gun and whatnot would do good here. But, Combustion will be able to dominate this place. As you can tell, with double kick, double kick with well, fighting moves period will do a lot to rock and ground type. And then if you want or you can fight them separately if you want it don't matter well, both people have two Pokemon and I think both just have Geodudes Yep, all they have is Geodudes.
Roar. Continue. That's does I love that. That's bullcrap. Okay, there it goes. We're gonna double team. Which just makes it to where they don't. They might miss you. Go. And I'll use the gym leader. Alright, gym leader Roxanne. The recommended moves are grass and water, which would be which would you would have with Trico and Mudkip. But fighting types use uh, do good too, which is why we got double kick for Kamus and double kick and Kamuskin. But which are really effective on her. Her nose pass is really high in physical defense. He's in a way of, he's kind of a wall, a physical wall. Geodudes, as you see, are pretty weak, especially against fighting moves. No, Rock Tomb is the most bull attack, but it also Rock Tomb will also lower your speed if it hits you. The prizes will obviously be the badge and being able to use cut out of battle which you'll be able to use to get the rest of the items in the forest and whatnot. The, I don't really remember but I don't think you have there's that many times you have to use cut to actually proceed with the storyline to proceed with the game at all. Well besides the fact that you would need to beat the gym to, to finish the story. Well actually you need to, to continue it you have to beat the gym but would have beat her anyway. But. Yeah. Basically all. She. On me. You usually have to beat your first Geodude. She'll pull out her nose pass usually on me. But. Her nose pass is. Won't, shouldn't be much problem. With double kick. So. But. That's basically why I went and trained her. Trained Torchic to learn that. We can easily mow through Roxanne's Pokemon, period. Her two Geodudes will have nothing against it, and her nose pass should be easily taken out, too. Other than that, her she's pretty simple, but then what do you expect from the first gym? The first gym usually is easy, especially since the first gym usually is Rock. So basically, she's a classic Rock, beginning Rock trainer. But yeah. And now, the battle with the gym. Roxanne. Oops. I wish to basically be on. As you can see, <laughs> Ember didn't do as much as I wanted it, but I don't mean to do it, but it became a habit. And then double kick. But at least I got her potion out of the way. I think she only has one potion, so. Hey, she didn't do what she usually does. She's pulling out Geodude first. She's only her second Geodude. As you can tell, Geodudes have no chance against Double Kick. And now her. Her mighty nose pass. Yeah. 
got hit by a rock tomb. And as I said, it lowers your speed. By one level, to be exact. And no one's pass will have an orange berry. He's blocking my escaping, apparently. And as you see, no one's pass wasn't much of a problem. Now, now we have the stone badge. Now he's cut out of battle. Now she'll give you TM39, which is Rock Tomb. And TMs only can be used once. They're not like HMs where they have unlimited. TMs you can only use once. Well, that is. That's all part three. We'll see you all next time.